one more flight. This will be the last one of this of Polar Lander, I promise here. Uh, we just need a little more oomph. Just a little more oomph, and I think... I think we're going to do it... Like so. Here's here's the plan. This is going to get us off the surface. Here's what we're going to do. I like this plan. Uh, where's that? There we go. We're going to do the old... Three-way rocket here. Actually, two-way, I guess. Uh, but it's only going to be... We're going to have three rockets. They're going to be attached like... Yeah. And... Get on there. Oh, look at that. Then we need a Sepatron. And then put you right there. Okay. So why would this detach first? Whose idea was that? Okay, this needs to be first. And when this goes, these three are going to go. And then when this goes, this is going to go. And then when we detach this, we're going to do the fun uh, Sepatron thing. I think I think you need uh, a couple more of those. Uh, if I hold down Alt and grab this, I can take it. <laughs> this is for science. Also, uh, I want to see what happens. <laughs> okay, Polar Lander 3. Let's go ahead and save this bad boy and go to space. Newsor, are you excited? Are you excited to be the first Kerbin to ever visit the North Pole? He looks pretty happy. He's confident. That's why we picked him for this mission. We needed someone with confidence more than brains. I'm using a lot more solid fuel than I thought we would. These are a lot heavier than I thought they would be. Probably shouldn't start my gravity turn just yet. It looks like these are going to be doing the bulk of the lifting. We'll just see what happens here. If this one doesn't make it, I think I'm going to scrub it and uh, just go back and, and try something more. I'm trying to do this with the least amount possible. I could I could uh, just throw a bunch of fuel and a bunch of boosters on there. You know, enough to get to the moon and back and then land it on the pole. But that's no fun. And there we go. <laughs> A little bit more oomph. Bang for the buck. Probably going to see re-entry burn here. <laughs> yep, Newsor. Newsor is the new jab, it looks like, for, for this program. Yeah, I, can, I am not making it go down. It is doing that all on its own. Okay, there we go. <laughs> There's our retreat. I probably, you know what? Let's kill this. Let's wait until we're actually out of the, the lower atmosphere before we, before we waste any more fuel here. Uh, I don't want to set the moon as target. I want, there we go. Okay. Uh, we need this up, and we need this up, and... Yeah, I want to see my orbital trajectory. See, how far away are we from the apoapsis? I cannot tell. Oh, there we go. Ten seconds. Okay, let's go ahead and burn. We're going to the North Pole. I don't care how many tries it takes, guys. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to get my apoapsis above 70. Let's go ahead and make it 80. Yeah, we're... Looks like we're not going to make it very much farther than uh, Bob did. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to scrub it. Uh, revert flight. Back to vehicle assembly. Let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> I know I said I didn't want to just throw more boosters on, but let's do it. Okay, so this guy, let's see. Th this guy? What, what, what are you doing? Okay, these two guys and this guy are here. 
And this is going to disconnect and do the, everything else. Okay. We're just going to keep, keep the name of three because the original three was a failed flight. Okay. Computer's on. Throttle up. And go. Wow, that's some boost. Yeah, New Zor, you like that, don't you? You like that. Oh, look at the galaxy there. Okay, and we've got some good speed going on. AKA far too fast. I think what we're going to do here is we're going to turn it a little bit. Oh, we got to carry these solids up, sadly. But that's okay. We can actually use the going a little bit slower here. The big separation and massive burn. Woohoo! <laughs> Newsor likes that. And that. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Got to keep my eye on the solid rocket fuel here. Yep, we're just slowly. I don't want to add a maneuver. I want to see my. There we go. Solid rocket fuel's getting close to being done, but our apoapsis is awesome. Oh, I got a stage. Uh, and go! <laughs> Definitely got to watch the apoapsis now. And 80! There we go! That's what I like to see. We've got a almost full tank of gas, and we apparently lost a Separatron. Oh no, I put two... <laughs> I put them on everything. Oh, this is going to be crazy. I didn't realize I had... <laughs> I am not going to go EVA until we land because I don't know if he can get back in with those things on the door. Uh, and I, the last thing I want to do is <laughs> come back into the atmosphere with him hanging on to the side of this thing. So uh, let's see. Let's uh, set up a maneuver node. Going to the North Pole. Going to the North Pole. Okay, and we got to kind of cheat to the right here a little bit. There we go. And we don't want to do that much burn, so let's bring it back down. Uh, we definitely want to do more than that, though, so let's bring it back up. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Actually, that's probably a really good idea. Um, and then we'll re-enter the atmosphere somewhere around here, and then cruise on down. Okay, and we've got 50 seconds, 40-second uh, burn, so that means right around 26 or 27 we're going to do that. we got plenty of fuel for a 40-second burn. Where's Bill? There's my stage. We're in space, which is awesome. Not going to take any readings. I think I'm going to take a reading while we're doing our burn, which is in about two seconds here. Serve the mystery goo! Clumped into a sphere and become brittle. Well, it's worth 10 science, so why not? Okay, we're doing our burn. Things are looking good. We have... I'm not going to say plenty of fuel. We have fuel. <laughs> Looks like we're going to just make it. We should hopefully make it to the North Pole on this burn. Even if we don't quite make it, I'm going to cheat upwards a little bit. Okay, there we go. And you know what? I'm going to use the Separatrons to give myself a, <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of extra oomph. Okay. Well, let's check out our flight path here. Ah, oh, we're still not there. We're still not there. Okay, let's revert the flight. I am getting to the freaking North Pole. Okay, what else do we need? We need more, oops, you know what we need? We need more of everything. Let's go ahead, X, X, X. You know what, wait a minute, that's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. Tell you what, instead of that, let's go crazy. I know you wanna go crazy. Let's go crazy, we don't need four of those though. That would, that would be way too crazy. Uh, we do want two of them though, attached like that. I think you know what I'm gonna do. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Kind of want to move the whole assemblage down a little bit. There we go. 
There we go. This is taking us there. Okay, let's save it and launch it. Newzor, you're getting to the North Pole. I don't care. I'm just going to hit space. Okay, turn on the computer. Throttle up. I wanted to hit space quickly so the game didn't have time for the physics engine to break anything on this. And you're not going. <laughs> I'm not going to go back to the vehicle assembly. But I am going to go back to launch and I'm going to put this in there. And now we're going to go. Throttle up. Shoot a little to the north and a little to the west here. Okay, so, uh, actually, I'm already, I'm already back down, so that's cool. Wait, at 7, you want to be at about 200, and at 10, you want to be at about 260. And I knew this would happen, but there's not much you can do about it. So let's do our gravity turn here. That's what I wanted. Now all of, we have all of our fuel now to do our burn to the North Pole, which is what I wanted from the beginning. I wanted to be not using any of my regular fuel while uh, yeah, actually, you know what we could do? We could just plop ourselves right on the top here. This is a good idea. It uses far less fuel. It's all about efficiency. Uh, we have no idea how long the burn is. But based on prior burns, it's probably going to be a decent one. At least 45 seconds. So let's actually drop these off. Yep, looks like 45 seconds. Okay. And we should actually have the fuel for that. <laughs> of course, our trajectory has changed slightly because of reasons. Okay, I think that's good right there. We're going to come in right around here, and then it's going to plop us right on the ice sheet. We don't have to be on the North Pole. I don't care about that. We just want to be on the ice. Got the Milky Way, the moon directly overhead. Again, someday we'll be out there. Minmus is out there somewhere. We know that, but we don't know exactly where. <laughs> Can't really see it in the night sky. Oh, we should probably be burning. Luzor, you are going to make history. Yeah, it looks like we're going to basically use all of our fuel, but that's what we wanted to do. We didn't want to waste fuel. And we've still got... Oh, I forgot to take off the Sepatrons off of the, the other side. But oh, well. Looks like we are going to have a little bit of extra fuel to kind of cheat our descent. Although not very much. Oh. If anything, I overburned. It looks like I did. But that should be okay. You know what? I'm going to wait till we actually get to our apoapsis, and I'm going to use the last of my fuel to bring this back just a little bit. Just a little. Because the last thing I want... Whoa. Is to overshoot. That would be terrible. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hit F5. Because this is the mission that's getting to the North Pole. I don't care. Okay, uh, it's going to be a tiny little burn. So let's go ahead and just get up to about 10 seconds till I'm speeding up time here. 
about 10 seconds till I will start the burn. I'm only going to do a little bit. Yeah. Doesn't have to be super efficient. Okay. That looks pretty good. Okay, Newzor. We're going to speed up time here a little bit. Coming up on the polar ice sheets. There they are. Okay, we are not in space anymore. I'm going to keep this fuel here. And if needed, I am going to burn upwards to give myself a little more time to come in. I'm going to physics warp a little bit just because this is going to be a long re-entry. I'm watching what I'm watching here is my arrival path. And you notice it's not actually coming back at all. But that's because we're in the way upper tenuous atmospheres. If you look here. Oh look at that. Look at all those bumps. That's actually just texture. That's there's no actual bumps there. If you see it's actually looking as if the sun is shining from that direction when it's not. Um you know what? I am going to Oh, well, there it goes. Okay, Sepatrons! Woohoo! <laughs> ah, what happened? Well, I'll tell you what happened. Uh, I ran out of hard drive space. <laughs> and I didn't realize I'd run out of hard drive space until after I was done recording. Luckily, I only missed the last couple minutes of the flight. Newzor landed successfully. He did not land on the ice sheet. He landed in the snowy mountains next to the ice sheet. But I'm going to count that as a successful landing. Um, here's a picture of him uh, standing in front of the tree that I luckily took in, in the game, uh, not relying on uh, the video. <laughs> so... Here's proof that he successfully landed. I recovered him. I got some science. I don't remember if I unlocked anything, but if I didn't, I will do it next time. If I did, I think I unlocked the nose cone. But I think next time what we're going to do is we're going to take a trip to... Are you ready for it? The moon! So I hope uh, you're looking forward to that. And I am Fifth Horseman, and I will, as always, talk at you later.